Taking over the asylum, 1994, Hey Jude, chiming. Here we go. That six windows, white, never paint, weather beater, work to begin Monday week. I don't even know, Stephen. Perhaps we should go to for the aluminium after all. What was the price difference again? Look, Mr. White. I'll leave you these brochures of you, and I'll come back next week. No, we have the never paint weather beater. Mrs. Miss White, I've got to go. The aluminium then? A puppy next week. I'll just go find a pen. Look, I got to go. But where are you going? I made supper. Cars honking. Well, Kathleen, looks like you might get your chance sooner than you think. Eddie, good evening, bed poppers. Hustle radio. Glasgow town. Now, last week, I asked you to let me know if you wanted to hear 50s music more, 60s music, or more 60s music, or more 70s music. After reading through a, a total one reply, the answer is, fan fan playing, hope you break your leg and get grand green. Raising, razzling sound effect. So that leads us to next week's mailbag. Do you want me to break my leg or just get gangrene? Or would you like me to break my leg and get gangrene? Keep those cars and letters coming through, bed bobbers. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna sit down and write myself a letter playing. Knocking Eddie. May I have a word? Do you think I come in? I have a wee problem. I was wondering if you could get, help me out. You see, Kathleen, oh, the Rottweiler, say no more. I told you we should get rid of her. You know, you've been with us a long time, Eddie. Seven years, right? Eight? Eight. My point exactly. You're the most experienced TJ. It's a, it's a wonder you're not gone professional by now. Well, I'm not giving it much fault. Well, it's just Kathleen has been with us a year now. And she's paid her dues. I just think it's time she had her own show. Oh, no, no, no chance. You're not getting rid of me to train her. You're not getting me to train her. I was going to train Godzilla, who had a better breath sense. I one who actually ate food when he was... I want actually eat food when he's hungry. Eddie, I know you're long time. You have to understand how difficult it's for me to say this. Hey, have you dumped him yet? What? Kathleen, because I just want to know, am I going doing the show next week or not? You're getting rid of me? I'm sorry, Eddie. You cannot give me a, give her a slot. We're not responsible here, Mr. Pity. He has folk out there on life support machines. You cannot make them listen to rap music. I have to give them the ones going going through a chance, Eddie. You don't, can't take my show away from me. I don't know if you're interested, but I've got to call for Dr. Winter, who's the new minister, and, and Miss, minister, Mr. Jews Hospital. They used to have a wee site there, stationed in the 70s. She's interested in trying to get it going again. They're looking for somebody to take over, it over. Oh, if you're not interested, no. Oh, no, I'm interested. Ring them tomorrow. And he didn't dump him. I had been promoted, if you must know. And he didn't dump me? He might have been promoted, if you don't, must know. So, oh, taking over as station manager at St. Jude's Hospital. Oh, that's so funny about that. St. Jude's is a loony bin. I'm oh, sure you fit in here. Sure, fine, Eddie. Door slams open, opens. Door closes. Not without something in your stomach, Grandma. I made you a supper, a nice supper, but you didn't eat. I wasn't hungry. I, you ain't. Now you're thirsty. Aren't? Now are you thirsty? Sit. And how do you drink this? I don't sound Scots boy. It's all. It's all night. You drink huff and puff and speak loudly, or your penises and vomit. In Lithuania, all night boys drink vodka, then fall down quietly. Sighs. What's wrong? You have a long face. Nothing. You now don't lie. God sees you. What's wrong? I've been unsacked. Oh Jesus, Mary, Joseph. You only have three. You only have job. You only have job three weeks. No, not the sales jobs. Ration station. Oh, well, it's good. Maybe now you can buy a nice car and go out to meet a nice meet a nice lassie. There's nothing wrong with my car, Eddie. Brand new. This car was rubbish, Eddie. And now you're thirty eight years old and you're not still not married. I promise your mother in a deathbed. I'll see you marry. You know, I want you. Oh, you want to 
I want to die and burn forever in the flames of hell. I just haven't found the right one. You think I'll find the right one? You think your mother will find the right one? All blue eyes and itchy feet will find misery. But God put us on this earth for us to suffer. Eddie, suffer. That's how he invented silence, darling, sighs Eddie. Dear Miss, Mr. McKenna, thank you for sending your demo tape. We have listened to it with interest. But unfortunately, you do not feel correctly. We do not feel, hello, I'm Eddie McNee. I'm the new hospital radio DJ. You told me the station was down here, here somewhere. I, what's that? That's my, that's my, just my records. Have you got any black, black server? No. What about post and black, huh? You're a patient here. I'm a nursing assistant. And this lot gave you, if there's any, this lot gave you trouble, you just asked this Stuart. Right, right. I'll go and get the change, charge nurse for you. Okay. But I could grow film intelligent. So, you must, if you, so you must be the new DJ. Hi, Eddie McKenney. Campbell and Barn, Bain. I suppose you want to take a look at the new station. I, you tell me you're expecting me. I introduce you to all the loonies uh, later on. They're watching neighbours at the moment in high point of the patient's day and eating, I suppose, two high points. Eating, watching neighbours and sleeping. Three high points. You want the patients that aren't exhausted for all their excitement. Uh, here we are. It's worse than I thought in here. Everything is worse than your fault. The yeah, albums have been arriving for weeks, but I don't think any of the donors were under 80 by the look of them. No, even then, 70, there's 70, 78 in there. Have you got the key? No, but we can try it at the key nursing station. It hasn't been used in years, you know. You tried to get it going again a couple of years ago. Rumor has it, it was next morning, two, 1, 122 patients told the drinks. They were hearing voices. Eddie laughs. You trust it. Prescribed about well, 6,000 worth of major trying colonizers. Well, they realized it was hospital radio, so it had to be stopped. I can't believe it myself. I cannot believe one... 122 patients could have been watching television at the same time. I've been looking for you, Captain Campbell Barn. Where have you been? I've been showing Eddie McKenna. He's a radio station. He's a new DJ. Now you missed a drug, drug round. Now go and tell the nurses you need your drugs. He's always doing that. Always trying to get me to take drugs. Down, downers. What well, I'm on. Uppers. For what, uh, when I'm down. So if you go to, on the... Uh, go... If you do that on the outside, you're arrested. You know, Campbell, go. He's a patient. Oh, yes. So you're the new DJ. Aye. Think you get this thing going again? I'm going to try it. The electricians were in here yesterday to check it over. Mind you... All they can guarantee is it won't actually burn the place down. Come on, I'll get your key, Eddie. They all look pretty normal. What do you expect them to look like? A beast of bono? So how do they come to be in here? They're here. Things get on top of them. One in four of us will suffer a mental health problem. As some time in our lives, it's a tough world out there, you know. Shouting gibberish, speaking gibberish, speaking gibberish. That's Daniel, by the way. Now she's picked up the police. Uh, by the police a few weeks ago, rubbing in rough, drinking cheap vodka, hailing and wet all, and sundry in a language only she understands. She's not typical, though. She's just waiting for a bed on the co- continuing care ward. Now, now, the only thing we know about her is the moment. Is she's very religious. But says reckon she's speaking tongues. Will she get better after a few months of long stay ward? She won't be able to try it. The two laces, believe me, if I had been had to invent something that was guaranteed to drive people completely around the bend, invent a mental hospital. Nina sings these in this film. Na 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 na. Oh, she loves that music, by the way. She could be one of your first customers. It is why she's, uh, is that why she's called Nina? Na 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 na. Well, I suppose it's the gems. Or if all the germs are dead by now. Well, where to start? Frankie Lane, Lane, Frankie Vaughan, Frankie, Frankie Stewart, Frankie Vaughan. And the hours were not by artists called Frankie Traffic. Speaking of not 
No, not here. Speaking in Singer. Speaking in Singer. Sings each Ender's film theme. You're not supposed to be in here. Speaking gibberish. I have to define a different feeling. You're not supposed to be in here. Okay. Sniffing. Oh, Nana. I cannot give you your, my, you my whiskey. Speaking gibberish. What? What would it do to you, uh huh? Make you go. Make me go no more. Oh, no. Speaking gibberish. Whatever you said. Give me your, my wallet back. Laughing. And no money if you know. You know. I, it's, no, it's my business cards. You see here, Edward McKinney, salesman representative. I sell windows. I sell windows. You know, windows. Daniel locks on the door, wondering what, well, they, where they went. Hasn't seen they needed any of them in such a lot in, in so long. You probably find it merely sheep bladder. Oh, well, that's that's my that's my godson. That's my cousin's wee boy. Laughing, no, he's not mine. He's my cousin's. Sings his endless theme. As your man is a hatter, Nana. You know that, oh Nana. Now for a start. Off, we've got not to listen to Val Duncan's great hits. You want to listen to some music? Here's where we. Here's what, where we look. That's very, we very carefully, respectfully take the record out of its sleeve. We very gently put it on the timetable. Switch on a twitching desk. Static buzzing, Nana. We switch on the table to the table. And there's one for you, Nana. Hey, dude, playing. As it actually works, Nana. Both laughing, like a, it's a miracle. Banging. Women screaming, keep away from me. Keep away from me. Bastards, go. Get away from me. Get away from me, by screaming, woman screaming, phone ringing, twin view. May I help you? One moment, please, McKenna. McKenny, come up, man. I've been waiting to have a beaver. Well, I should, should, should be clearing throat. Sit down, sit down. So how's it going, huh? How are you settling in? Not bad, not bad, not bad. Hmm. Is this just back from pounding the payments, huh? A vic- victim turned into a room. Not exactly, but I did get two different maybes. Now listen to me, son. Before I get get this spells job, manager job, I was a vet just like you. And you know how I get to be where I am today? I don't know, Mr. Griffin. I never accepted the maybe. Never accepted maybe. Oh, how's it going? Hey, certainly not bad, not bad. Hmm? If, if you're just back from pounding the pavements, huh? The victor's returning to Rome. Not exactly. But I did have two different babies. Well, now listen to me, son. Before I got the sales messenger job, I was a rep just like you. And you know how I got to be where I am today? I don't, Miss Griffin. I never said to the maybe. That's my advice to you, McKinney. There's a dog, each dog. That world out there. And so do, you do know what kind of dog you need to be? No. I go on, guess. I don't know the guess. I guess an station of terrier. Would you ever, have you ever kept a terrier? No, sir. Good death for dogs. Never mind, keep a terrier. And my advice to you. And do you know why you should never keep a terrier? I don't know much about dogs. They bite their your ankles, McKenney. And they never let go. Oh, do you say? Never, maybe, maybe, maybe to a terrier, like, oh, like, all of you like, but they never let go. A dog like that wants to put down. A salesman, hmm. a salesman like that wants promote, like, like what, what that promote, wants promoted. Do you want, how, what, know what to say to you? I think McGriffin, I think so, McGriffin. I, now I have to tell you what's been, they've been clean about you. What, huh? It seems a couple in Queen's Park, the Whites, are saying you did it steadily at first, he refused them. So there are many windows. They said you were practically running out down the road after you. Pen in hand, begging you to tend them. Send them in some windows, but you refused. I, laughing. Now listen to me, McKenney. I worked with the public all my life, and believe me, half of that lot were daft. The other half are loonies. So you know what the whites are? No. Then guess, son, guess, loonies, see? You're beginning to follow me now. Don't even bones need double glazing. So I want you to go back there tonight and shut that garage. Shut, close that cell. All right, tonight's my night off. Mm, I mean, by I, I. Good luck. Now away and bite with their ankles. Rough, rough. That's mine. 
Monthly sales report. Summertime Blues playing. Men speaking on TV. Summertime Blues playing on hospital radio. Come here. There was Summertime Blues. And this is really Eddie McKinney. Ready to take you back in time to golden moldering oldies on his first broadcast of the all new Jews Hospital Radio. I'm going to be coming to you through your ward and day room speakers every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday evening, 7 to p.m. to 9. So let's get to know you each other. To know him is to love him, playing on radio, chattering on TV, Nana speaks gibberish. Can I manini? I suppose I have to push my, my way through the fan to get here. They are subbing Campbell. Sometimes I wonder what I'm going to do. Cause there ain't no cure for summertime blues. So you guess. You listen, hi. I heard brilliant. Lots of you like a Levy's, Winkley's, Pepsi and Air and Brew advert. All rolled into one, young girl. I'll get my mind. You get out of my mind. You never close your eyes. Fame. You're not going, you're not nothing but a hound dog. Anyone else listen? Well, I don't think so, unless you count anchors. A nurse sat next to one of the speakers. I didn't, but see, she's catatonic, so it's difficult to know whether she's actually listening. You packed a bad time, though. Tuesday at seven is Emmerdale. Patient already in front of Emmerdale. So, should I have ch- Stars in order at seven thirty? Let me say send us the bill. Eight o'clock near chance the bill. Television, not a single, there's not a single diversion here. In modern way of life, you're not going to pack, pack it in, are you? What do you think? But this station was potentially, it would be big, it wouldn't be very big, Campbell. I spent the entire evening alone, surrounded by 200 scra- scratch pre-coronation records, broadcasting equipment that should be in a museum for one person. Now speakers that make me sound like my head's a bucket. Well, okay, I admit. It's a slow start, but hang on. You're not borrowing me a night on that. But you've just seen a fr- I've just seen a friend of mine passing through the window. Fungus, what are you doing? You're going to hurt yourself. Can I, should I get a nurse? Fungus. Fergus, you're going to miss your cocoa. You know, I know. Well, I can't have it here then. Help yourself. He's escaping. Yeah. He's knocking on the door in the net. He'll be knocking on the door an hour or so. He always does. No, it annoys the hell out of the staff. And not anyway, Eddie. The only thing we have to do is find a way of getting that lot away. Turgeon, how? Well, a student nurse has once accidentally gave it. Everyone in the ward an overdose of laxative. It's believe me. No, nobody was watching TV that night. Ken, were you gonna give that whole hospital a laxative? Yeah, you're right. Where would I get hold of all that laxative? How about this quest show? I'm already full of that. I haven't had enough records. So, when folk request something, they should lower lose you like to play it. So, you must make them keep requesting until they hit on something. So, we actually have. If we can guess a record that we actually have in our library, we'll play it for you with a special dedication. To who would resist? Uh, never work. You need some jingles. Hospital radio, St. Jude's, that sort of thing. You need singers to record jingles. What exactly, that one exactly is sitting there here before you. A lunatic, a singing lunatic. We should call them in on station. I, I, brilliant. Now give me the key. Now what key to the station? Look, I've got to start driving the jingles, rehearsing the singers, calculating the albums. The Campbell, how exactly you are, how exactly are you in here? Can you not guess? I'm a manic, manic, manic. Don't, 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 but don't worry, the drugs I take make me completely stable. Skip for headaches, of course. I get these headaches. If it, it, it comes over me, I'm gonna, can it? Oh, the bells, the bells, I want, I want my own show, by the way. Well, after all this work, I think it's only fair, don't you, Campbell? I'm gonna just give you my own show. You've been training on equipment. So train me. It'll take Friday nights. Will you not clash with Brook? Will they not clash with Brooks? Side Rose Lee. The doctor said you should not a window cleaner. But these windows are filthy, so they are. But yet, you must not just take off. I'm going to train Campbell Brain as a DJ. You're going to get a request show going. Get the patients involved. Is there, if it's okay with the staff, philosophy, he has encouraged patients to use their own initiative and motivated. Be self-motivated. So they must not, so they do not mind, but hate it. Nina singing neighbor's theme. Listen, if I don't, 
know it's going to be any bonus of mine, but it's going to help, not going to help but notice. It's a miraculous medal, miraculous medal, round round his neck. And so, it, does it mean she's Catholic? Catholic does not speak in tongues, you see. Maybe, uh, nobody told Nana that. Hang on in there, pet. Ladies and gentlemen, I will put an announcement to make Campbell and you the way in the way in the way it only take a moment. I try to mark, mark, watch Miss Marple. Look, it only takes seconds. Ten seconds. Move aloft. I just move yourself myself. Ten seconds. That's all I ask. To give me ten seconds and then maybe we shut up. Just wanted to announce that the women, Miss McGridley, Saw something, saw being strangled in a train was a fact. Mary Marot, legal but strange wife of Dr. Cooper, who married her, murdered her in order free to marry Emma Chickleworth. Crackenworth inherit the Crackenworth fortune. Why did you have to tell us how it ended? No point in watching it now, true. Which brings me to my second announcement. It got as well, though, yet. Look, you're not getting into this television till I make my second announcement. Right, the Lady Gallery launch at St. Jude's Hospital Radio. Take place tomorrow night at 7 p.m. We want Garner's World with the first, very first of all your radio quest shows in which your own ready Eddie will play your quest and dedications live and on air. So you ready? Ready to quest? Then right, ready, Eddie, go. Do you mean if I make a request, you'll play it on the radio, Campbell? Hospital Radio. It means about three folk will hear it. Have you got I'm in the mood for love? No, no. But I got the mood by going in there. Have you, would you like it to play it for you? Never heard it. What about Take My Breath Away? We got that, Campbell. Was it released after 1975? Oh, aye, Campbell. No, but, oh, well, I mean, we haven't got every record ever released. We aren't gone as well. You want to have my way, my big, big Frank, on a list of yours. Would you? Sold. Giving the man pen and having him step his way. Instantly chattering turns volume out, speaking gibberish. Is that Nana? You, Nana? Is that you, is you as you we are? No, it couldn't be. But it's too recent. They're not, you're not we kitty, is it? Is it? Laughing, you're starting to question the show, Nana. Hospital music. You want me to play Hey Jude for you? Being gibberish. Where's the rest of your life? Nana? Ta-ta, this is amazing. You you did this all yourself, well, ne- nearby. Nearly, I helped him. Oh, I'm Rosetta, by the, Rosetta, Rosalind, by the way. Which I, much as I hate the baby man, she's everyone's illness, someone's illness. She did not insist I'm compulsive, you see. We sorted out all the donated records, by the way. We sorted out all the donated records, by the way. Your father and for battery and calculated them. Could the period artists... Song, except for the pole there here, which we left for you, because I'm not sure how to crackerelize them. I wasn't sure how to characterize them. Look, the lead on his speaker is long enough so we can put in the corridor tonight or night and attract a wee bit of attention. I have just written about half a dozen jingles. We'll call later on if you want. Hustle Radio, St. Jude's Morning Golden Oldies. Da 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 da. Freddy Eddie's Roadshow. Ready, Eddie, go. You did all this in one day. I. 
Don't you wish you were my Nick? Look, I've got to go work now. Eddie Campbell, have you got not never notice? Does Anna ever get any visitors? Nana, no. She's off to Twilight Zone next week, so I hear. That's what? That what? You know, humming Twilight Zone Zoom. So it's been Vault 3. I need two ways to get out there, in a box or in a box. You show me some photos tonight. A daughter, I think. Some other folk. I mean, where are they? Not her fault she's gone loop to doop. Oh, she's not loony. What do you mean? Well, she's a, she's a, just a laugh. She talks to you. I mean, she's not like she's talking to wee blue boy, man from Venus. Although some of my best friends have been known to talk to wee blue men from Venus. Nana is the same as I am. Well, I don't see... I wouldn't use those exact words in court, Campbell. I mean, Twilight Zone, Francine, Francine. Scary, isn't it? I. You're right. How would you, how would I not be alright? Don't know. Your patient here? Nah, I'm the new Minister of Health of Scotland. What's your name, Francine? So you're the new JJ. Ah, that's me. We're starting a request show for pa- with patients. You want to request something? I'll play it for you. What about help? Laughs. I don't think I got that one. Doesn't matter. No, it's, st- it's stupid. I should have that one. Don't, doesn't matter. What do you, what did you what did you do that for? I'm putting out my cigarette. On my royal arm? A guinea find an ashtray? McKinney. I thought you, it was that you, McGriffin. Griffin. Wasting your time here, aren't you? McKinney, this is not replacement window window friendly window, widow friendly area, McKinney. Look at the houses. They're all brand new. Good point. Tell me there's nothing wrong with the whites. I haven't been able to get there yet. They've been they've been bit They've been busy, I suppose, but Kenny's busy is not a word. Salesman for Cabri says exactly. Busy is when the cut your customer thinks are not more important things in life installing pleasant windows. There isn't. That's your job to point that out to him. I am a Griffin. It's a dog eat world dog world out there, McKinney. And you know what kind of dog you have to be? A terrier, sir. A dog who sells windows, McKinney. Good lad. McFound fair playing. Good evening. This is Ready Eddie. And this is my left is my handy man, right hand man, Campbell Brand. And you're listening to the first ever Ready Eddie's Radio Quest show. Ready Eddie's Road Show. Ready, ready go. That's right. This is the premiere. This is the first. You can tell anyone, everyone you were there. You heard it. You saw it. You tell you. It's all pot. And they'll tell you it's all pot leonis. We're playing requests for World One this evening. This one is Francine. I hope you're listening, Francine. I hope everyone's listening. Is anyone listening? Anyone out there? Help, and we're playing on radio. What's wrong with the telly? What's the matter with it? I don't know. Television's broke, Eddie. There is a guard. Music stops, all exclaiming disappointingly. What's wrong? The mixing desks. Do something. What can I do? I can't turn on the bathroom light. Without shocking myself, Campbell. Well, check the plug. Maybe it's a fuse. Not a fuse. I can't believe this. I just had the world's shortest career as a disc jockey. Fergus, what are you doing? I just have a look. No, don't. Don't have a look there here. I think you blow it, blow it, you blow it up. Ergus, I'm asking you, please leave it alone. We're gonna blow it up. Campbell, he's not. I don't know what the problem, what the problem is. For God's sake, he's blowing it all up. Fergus, 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 let's don't, okay. Fergus, just leave it alone. It's not, it's all we got. Fergus, Fergus, Fergus. He's not causing trouble, is he? Static buzzing on radio. No, he's just helping me get the fixing desk going in. Him? He shouldn't get his brain, he couldn't get his brains going again. Leave it to Stuart. It's all over. You're a genius, Fergus. You're a genius. Sorry about the technical problems, folks. We're now back on air. We only ho- we hope to keep it that way. Our next quest is for Simon, dedicated to his girlfriend, Jennifer. So you f- don't know, to, if, so if you don't know me by playing, by now playing, your number three and number five channels are US, by the way. And some of the contacts need re-soldering. It doesn't, it all needs a v- overhaul. How did you learn to do all that, by the way? Used to be my job, electrical engineer. Used to be? Well, nobody wants to be higher loony. Might do something weird, I. Well, I'm sorry about that. Doesn't matter. I'll get some parts and soldering iron tomorrow. Have it here to go, go have it to go into Scott Glasgow for that. You're escaping? Um, well, tell me why you gotta do it. How are you going to do it? No. 
How? Why do you have to do that all the time? Do what? Escape? I get bored. But you come back? I have to come back. I'm section, section, detained on section 26 of the Scottish Mental Health Act. I detained myself for others. How? I hear voices. What do you mean I am here, in here? Tell me, calling me a stupid bastard. I'm always calling myself a stupid bastard. I tell, well, don't tell them that. Laughing, of course. I suppose I need you to put this back. Where do you get that from? From the back of the television. You sleek it from me, bastard. Do you know that, Fingus? You're going for, coming for a cocoa? No. Gonna try f- finish sorting these. Round the World Series, volume, what, 16? Music from Barracks. Aye, Fergus. We find yourself wondering, what to play in the barrack top of the pops. We need to learn no more. I just can hear, I can just hear the Freemians, John Peel announcing. And number four, we got the Kimsterstein. And number three, it's Akin of Zunku's Megaroo. Straightly number two, Karelia Saklas Kaludu Zulu. But this week, the number one is single Karelia Laga Gimija. Jesus Christ, Fragus. Grandma, to your late grandma, I needed to ask you something. You eat first, then you ask. Grandma, I came across this record tonight. Sit. Does that word Kitamina mean anything to you? Don't be stupid, does it? Of course not. This is that is laughter to him. Oh, Jesus. Incidental music playing. Both speak of Latvian. It's dance he used to do. Kalinfija means a bobbing dance, you see. We're going to discharge her. How did this happen? She never learned to speak English. She came here as a refugee and her daughter always did a talking for her. But she died. Two years ago, she's speaking Latvian. We didn't just didn't understand. Good evening, Mr. White. What are you doing here? I've come to see if you made your minds up about the little windows. We expected you to co- you ages ago. Well, I had to draw up these contracts. It time, takes time to draw up contracts. A man for a royal field. Took no time at all to draw up the contract. It all st- they had to start work on Wednesday. I'm sorry about that. But business is business. Aye, woman. No sell, huh? No. Don't forget your pocket. Pay pocket. By the way, not that he, that he pays you reasonably. Not that he will pay he pays you can reasonably be called a pay packet. It's to get a sale. It's get it's get a sale tomorrow, Nanny. No, no, I was speaking that then. What have you said? Ah, Nanny's laughing. Copperdija, Copperdija.